So you just built yourself a 9070 XT 9800 X3D PC. Congratulations. I bet that thing looks freaking awesome. I myself have just finished my build. And if you guys want to check it out, you can in my long form content that I'll have linked below. But besides that, you guys, let's get straight into the details. You clicked on this video because you want to undervolt your GPU or your CPU. So I'm going to show you guys how you can easily do that. And not only will you get lower temps across your games, you should get a decent FPS boost. So let's rip right into it. So to start out, I got a stock benchmark for this PC on Steel Nomad. I didn't really stress too much on getting a stock uh, FPS benchmark for many games. I just went with Steel Nomad and we came out right around like 775, 735 after doing a couple runs. Here I show you guys the temps. We are sitting right at the GPU right at 50 and the CPU is floating right around 40 for the whole entire run. They kind of raise at least like two, three degrees, but not a whole lot. So the next thing I did on my system was I booted into the BIOS and enabled AXMP1 for over the overclock profile on my RAM. I'm running 6,000 mega transfers at CL30. Now I did not see a huge performance increase by overclocking the RAM, but that is understandable because any AMD chip with a ton of stacked L3 cache won't really benefit from overclocking the RAM. Now I click F10, save and exit. Now since we're already in the BIOS, we're gonna go to Advanced AMD Overclocking PBO and we're gonna go to the Curve Optimizer, set it to all cores, negative, and then we're gonna go 30. Now also, I disable PBO limits after this too, and you will want to do that so that nothing gets overridden in your curve by PBO or by the AMD software because it'll override your curve optimizer if you don't click disabled on PBO limits right here. Now I had to add this in the video really quick because I think it's hilarious. My little mini screen inside my PC is hooked up to my 9800X 3D. So when I was trying to get into the BIOS, it was booting onto this mini screen. But if you guys have questions on how I hooked up this mini screen into my PC, definitely leave them in the comments below and I can make a video about it. So straight back into the undervolting. So now we are in adrenaline and we set a max frequency offset to 300 and our Voltage offset to negative 110. Now this is the first undervolt I actually ran and I went ahead and stress tested it up here in the corner and everything went smooth for this whole stress test. Now I wanted to show you guys all the raw clips throughout this video because I want to show you guys what it's really like undervolting when you have crashes, how nerve wracking things can be. But my first setting for my undervolt that I found online looks like to be one of the best ones for my exact card and we got everything to run smooth and we got actually a pretty good result in steel nomad my temps looked decent too all the way through and we really bumped up our score 500 points is kind of insane you guys so this is where I got a little greedy and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I can get a higher score. So I went and found the most popular undervolt by a YouTuber, which is a negative 170 voltage offset and a power limit of 110%. I went and head and ran Steel Nomad. And, you know, when undervolting and doing all these things, I want to show you guys the raw experience with minimal cuts and showing you what actually happens during the process. Because right here... I uh, get pretty nervous for a second because when you're tweaking all these settings with such expensive components, you know, you can see in my eyes, I, I freeze. I'm like, oh, no. I Okay, uh-oh. I look over and I'm like, uh-oh. So that crashed on me. So I decided to go back to the first uh, settings I had for the undervolt and it crashed again. So this is when I was uh, getting pretty irritated the other night trying to figure things out. So after this, I go ahead and make my own undervolt. So I just throw together 
some settings and it actually turns out pretty decent. So let's take a look at that here. I ran neg uh, negative 90 voltage offset and a max frequency of 285. So pretty similar, but just a little more chill. And I ended up getting 7426 on Steel Nomad, which I was pretty happy about. But when I kept checking my GPU hotspot, it was pretty dang high up at 86. And I wanted to get that down at least to 80. So I wanted to keep tweaking settings until that was pretty low um until my hotspot got pretty low now i'm just going to show you guys one more time here in adrenaline the settings i made because i'm pretty proud i found this undervolt myself so i was pretty stoked on the results and the score but i believe the first settings i had for the undervolt gave me better temps so i actually go back to that original undervolt i had of 300 negative 110 and i ran steel mat nomad a couple more times even though it did crash that one time i figured it could have been just a different something going on with my pc something could have opened randomly when i was running steel nomad or something like that so I was really happy with this. Of course, we do still have a pretty hot GPU hotspot, but we run right about 50 on the GPU and right about 42 on the CPU throughout the whole run. Um, or actually 59 this time around. And so I was running my PC for quite a while. It was definitely getting hot, but I'm super happy with the results. Now for this video, I definitely should have gotten before and after temps because I feel like the temps in Steel Nomad definitely stay the same where you're going to see huge temp decreases when gaming, doing both of these undervolts. And I myself play a lot of Deadlock and that's really just the main game I play. And I was able to game for a full hour at 4K with 400 FPS and my temps were sitting right at 40 between 40 and 50 for my GPU and my CPU, which I was super happy about. And that's pretty dang high FPS. On my last system with a 4070, I only, I could barely even hit 200 FPS with the same settings. So I am super stoked on how everything turned out. Here is a little outro for you guys. One more time with the beautiful LED boot sequence I have in this PC. The RGB turned out absolutely insane, but I am also happy with the performance. So everybody, I hope you enjoyed and stay blessed.